Hi sewing friends, welcome to my sewing room. My name is Beth and if you're new, welcome. Today I'm sharing about two quilts I'm making at the same time. Let's get started. Every evening I walk into my sewing room and I work on this hand-pieced hexagon quilt. I started it about four months ago making all of those grandmother flowers of those hexagon type flowers and now I'm putting the quilt together and during the day I've been working on this hexagon quilt using my sewing machine. I just shared about how I started putting these hexagons together recently and I'll leave links below. So here are the flowers that I hand pieced. I had to make about 55 flowers to finish up this old quilt that came into my possession. It was given to me. It was half done and I made, like I said, a lot of these flowers and now I'm trying to complete the quilt by surrounding the flowers with the green hex hexagons and I um, wasn't sure how I was going to do getting this together but it's been going pretty good. I do need a table when I work. So here is some footage from when I was putting those flowers together. I thought you'd be interested in seeing again maybe how I hand pieced these little flowers together. I did two rows of hexagons around that center mustard hexagon and after sewing the um, one side I had to do those uh, in between rows there right here I'm going to put the right sides together and then I begin where I ended I had to leave a quarter inch seam in all of the corners of these hexagons to make all of the hexagons fit together. So once I had all my flowers done, I started putting them together into my quilt. And that's what I've been working on every night here in my sewing room. Here's the quilt on the floor. I've added two and a half rows of flowers and now I'm continuing to work every evening on this beautiful grandmother's flower garden quilt. I look forward to this peaceful sewing time at night. I start about seven o'clock at night and I might work for an hour. And this quilt has been fun. Some of the flowers are made with vintage fabrics and then there are some that I made with some not so vintage fabrics that kind of go along with the theme of this beautiful quilt. Here you might be able to see that every time I ended one side of a hexagon I would either do a little back stitch to hold it or I'd add a little knot just to keep everything nice and together. I'm really enjoying working on this beautiful quilt in the evenings and I'll be sure to let you know when it's complete.
past couple of weeks, I've been working pretty steadily with these hexagons on my sewing machine. I have a video that shows in more detail how I put these hexagons together, but basically I sewed them together in rows and I needed to start and stop a quarter inch away from each end. And I did need to do a little back stitch each time. Using this Juki machine that has a thread cutter, I think really saved some time and it probably saved some thread. I was able to easily go from one, um, from beginning to end really quick. And once I got going, I was able to eyeball that quarter inch seam that I needed at the beginning and end of each seam. So you can see these hexagons are not perfectly exactly the same so when i had two that were slightly different i just centered it and went ahead and put them together Putting the rows of hexagons together was pretty simple, but when it came time to add the row to the quilt, I had to move the quilt every time I added a seam, and I had to be sure to move those seam allowances out of the way. So I, again, I began a quarter inch away from the edge, and I tried to end right next to the seam or a quarter inch again away from the edge, then I would um, turn the hexagon and match it up with the next hexagon in the row and try to fold that um, hexagon behind out of the way. Uh, again, moving my seam allowances out of the way and sewing the next seam. So there's a lot of movement and this did take some time. Once it was all done, I was really pleased with how this quirky quilt came out with those uh, fun pops of yellow in the midst of the blue, red, and the dark blues and whites. Really fun little quilt that someone sent me all these hexagons. It was really fun to put them together. Thanks for joining me today, and I'll see you next time.